All right, guys, I just want to give you a couple of tricks to shoot fireworks. Tomorrow is going to be the 4th of July. There's going to be fireworks everywhere, and I want to make sure you nail them. So first, let's talk about gear. What I recommend first is to use a tripod. Any tripod is good as long as it's kind of stable. I love the Mi Photo brand. I'm not sponsored by them. I wish I would be sponsored by them. If you know anybody that works at Mi Photo, please tell them to call me. But I love their tripod. Great price for the money. And um, so just any tripod, you gotta have your camera on tripod. Then I recommend to have a remote. Any kind of remote is good because it helps you not touch your camera if uh, when you take the photo. If you cannot have a remote, just put a two second timer. Last but not least, my best lens that I recommend is anything in the 24 to 105 range. I think it's the best lens to shoot uh, fireworks. So let me show you a shot that I did years ago. So you see, I shot this at four second, 7.1 ISO 100. This is my go-to settings, ISO 100, because you wanna make sure you, know, it, you don't have a noisy photo, 7.1, because it gives you usually the exact aperture you need to have a fourth second exposure. And four second is, is important, so you can really see the, you know, the way the bowls are gonna you know, evolve in the sky. And the retouching is very straightforward. You know, I'm gonna open up the shadows, I'm gonna bring down the highlights, I'm gonna do the black, the whites. Also, I shot this with a 100 millimeter 2.8, but I was at 7.1. One thing, one mistake that I often see people do is they are too far away. You gotta really move in into the fireworks. That's why 100 millimeter, 200 millimeter sometimes is required. You gotta get close to it and really move in if you can have like a subject, well, I have the Eiffel Tower, but if you don't have the Eiffel Tower, you know, there's so much fireworks happening tomorrow over the, you know, over the sea. Just make sure you're not too wide. You're really getting in there. And what you do is you just keep on shooting all the time. You set your tripod. You know, if you have the remote, you just, as soon as the ball starts going up in the air, you start shooting. And I'm going to copy this and show you some of the other shots that I got that night. Look at this. I'm just going to copy and paste what I did and I can change my settings. You know, it's, I love fireworks. I think it makes some of the most awesome photos out there. Oh, the cropping factor is off. I'm gonna reset the cropping. And maybe on this one, I'm just copying and pasting the, the, the settings. So, you know, very simple. I'm gonna give you some of these raw files from Paris so you can, look at this one, so you can practice with it. And they were all shot at four seconds, 7.1 ISO 100. It's my go-to settings for the last 15 years on shooting fireworks. And I'm sure you're gonna pull off an amazing 4th of July. I wish you the best 4th of July and have fun taking amazing fireworks tomorrow night.